found him. Bertie was right. He's in Hope, South Dakota. And the girl? She's not with him. Okay, people, listen up. I'm giving a green light on this operation. I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP. Sir, don't you think that our priority is on reacquiring the girl right now? No, Jade. First, we neutralize the rogue element that started this mess. He'll know where she is. Trust me, we get 47, we get the girl. We can't afford to fuck this up! It's time to send in the saints. <laughs> Dexter's nose, sell her off ourselves. And Tyler, he's already in touch with the competing arms company. We're talking six figures, man. Damn it. Mr. Dexter is not someone that you want to mess with. <clears throat> what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Hitman Absolution. I am Drew Spur from Xbox Live. We are on purest difficulty. This is Welcome to Hope. For this one, we have to assassinate Lenny's goons and then kidnap Lenny. So we're going to start with this guy over here. And this is super tricky. Like, I know. I keep saying it. It's all about timing. But you know what? It's all about timing. So we're going to chill out right here. Wait for this dude. Take a step forward and turn back right around that time. One of his buddies should be coming around this van over to my left. We are going to go the opposite way and zip right on past him. Like so. There he is. Sucker. Alright, so we're going to rig this, but we cannot pull the lever. So this guy's actually over here. This one's on a timer. It won't stay on. So, what we're going to do now... We're going to chill right here. Now, in a second. Another guard's going to come walking by, and right behind him is going to be our target. So we're going to chill out right here. Wait till he comes back. I have to say this game does have a very movie feel and I know they took a lot of Hollywood influence on producing this one and uh, I did watch the bonus DVD that came with it because uh, I got the professional edition and it comes with a bonus movie that uh, documents the whole production of the game and uh, based on what they were saying they were trying to do in terms of blending cinema with video game, I think they uh, did a pretty good job. So, anyway, I want to be careful to stay right behind this guy. Stay out of his line of sight, hit that. Zip back on over here while he's getting a fried. That is not you getting spotted, that's them freaking out because you just got electrocuted. Chuck the bottle and run. Woohoo, chuck the bottle and run. So, but yeah, because this, uh, this Hitman game, unlike the other ones, has much more of a cinema feel. And, 
I know they uh, kind of started slightly going that way with blood money, but each contract still had its own individual story, which up until this one was pretty common in the Hitman games. Um, but the, in this one, each mission is leading up to, leading us closer to uh, 47 saving Victoria and making all right with the world again. Did that thing turn on by itself? Really wish they would have brought back Jesper Kid though. Like, Jesper Kid was the composer on all the other Hitman games. He composed the soundtrack for every game, except this one. I guess they wanted to keep it along that whole Hollywood movie thing that they were looking to achieve, but I always loved Jesper Kid's music. He always built very well-structured music around the emotion of what was happening in each sequence that his music was being used. <clears throat> this part takes a while. I think I'm just going to fast forward. So anyway, here comes this guy. And as soon as he walks around the corner into this room, we're going to choke him out. Because that's what we do. Suck it! So now that we choked his bitch ass out, we're going to stuff him in this cabinet right here. After we pick up that remote explosive that we're not going to use. Ever. Oh, we actually didn't pick up a remote explosive. Okay. We still have our brick. So we're gonna chuck it right over here. And as soon as she turns around, just go. We're gonna head to our third and final target. And he is the trickiest one of all to obtain. Because he's in the garage, which is surrounded by police, and mechanics, and a plumber. Damn those plumbers. So, we're going to just sneak on through here, just keep going. They aren't going to spot you. There we go, we're going to chill out right here. And we're going to wait for him to cross our path one more time, because he's... In the room we're trying to get to right now, so we'll take this knife. We gonna chill out right here. And this part takes a second. All right, so now he's getting closer to us, so we're gonna go ahead and walk on out here. You actually can walk; you don't have to sneak. So he just walks past me. So, right now, what we're going to do is once he walks further that way, towards the outside, we're going to chuck this here knife, create us a distraction, and then we're going to book it in here. Do, 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 do. And chill here for a second, wait for this guy to do his thing. Then we're going to book it in here and play another round of the waiting game. Lotty daddy. We likes to party. So anyway, you chill out here, wait for this guy to come in here. And wait for him to start talking on his phone and then kill him. So once he comes walking through here, we're going to wait till he actually starts talking on his phone and we know he's turned around a little bit. And then we're going to pop out of here, carefully crouch down. Still want to watch him to see where he's looking. And then sneak up on him and choke his bitch ass. Like so. Then stuff him in this cabinet. I was half tempted to stuff one of his buddies, or take out one of his buddies and stuff them in here with him so they could have 
butt sex. <laughs> it's just stuffing two guys in a can. It's funny because it always looks like they're having butt sex. Alright, so for this part, it's another waiting game. I don't know where this guy is right now, so just to make sure I know I have the right timing, I'm going to wait for a guard to walk past this door before I proceed. So right here, the guy's going to walk past, and the door's going to slam in my face. Awesome, thank you. And then we're going to chuck this cane right here. Chuck it! What? And then we're just going to head on back. Make sure you hear to the right here. I almost forgot to. Hey, do you have anything to do with that? Well, that's important for not getting spotted. Now, sometimes I have problems with this guy back here because he's looking at this dude's body and he's sitting in just such a way that he'll spot me. But today we're okay. So, pick the lock and I'll see you for part two.